what I think, I think the divorce rate would equal out. It would be 50, 50 or men would even do it more. If ego wasn't involved because when you, for a man to divorce his wife or to divorce or to, you know, separate from the family or go their own way is essentially saying, I fucked up. I failed. I, I failed. Even if he's not wrong, even if she's a bad wife, she's, she ain't shit and all of that kind of stuff. There's a component in, in us that's just kind of built in us that I'm in charge. We all know that we're the head of the household. This is my this is my castle and I'm the king and all of this kind of stuff. And to say that I'm a bad king, to say that I'm a, I'm a leader who wasn't able to have my followers get in line is tough for men. Hold on. Say Hold on. I got a question. How many men, you know, get that bag and don't upgrade? Be honest. They upgrade. Let's just be real. They get that bag and they get a better looking woman. That's just the reality because you get new attention. You at another yeah, but, level. But just because you might, they, they might, they might look better and 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 and, and more fertile, but don't mean their mind is better. So but now I'm, I'm dealing with a childish type mind. I'm like, I, and you know, man gets old. You don't want to deal with a childish type woman. A woman has that, that young mind. I don't know. I don't know, Hink. I don't think. I don't think too many men get divorce remorse the way women do. I hear what you're saying, but I just I don't think that too many men are saying, damn, I wish I didn't divorce my wife. I'm now I'm out here all alone because well, I don't like I don't options. think most men divorce. That's what I'm saying, Shane. I don't think most no, men I know, divorce. but for the ones that do, I know I that they, they don't. You're absolutely right. But for the few that do, I doubt that what you're saying is I doubt that I I, I haven't in my experience seen too many brothers saying, Damn, man, I, I don't know what I, I made a mistake. Now I'm all alone. <laughs> I ain't wow. seen that. Wow. Women, now that's a trope for women. I, I hear that from women all the time. In fact, you know, uh, exit poll said 65% of women who get a divorce eventually, I mean, uh, 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 regret doing it within five years of doing it. Men, not so much. Well, I, I don't think men are being honest if they did. I don't think men I would think, tell them if they did. Their pride won't let them. You know what I'm saying? I you think know, she, most times you, you're not going to go, man, I, I regret. I, I left that woman. She was a good one. You know, most of you, you probably won't let you do it. They did. I did look into this one study. They said a large, somebody got a real big echo. They said a large chunk of them go back and remarry one another. I think like roughly 30 some percent of most couples that get a divorce wind up remarrying each other. That sound like a lot of regret to me. Yeah. <laughs> he said 30%. 30%. 30%, 30 of those who divorce wind up remarrying each other. But he was talking to the about same partner. She's beautiful doesn't mean that she's uh, that she's smart and that she's willing to be a, or she's capable of being a legit uh, woman. Beauty, beauty is one thing, but it's not everything. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're that type of dude that's just cool with having a, a smart, dumb woman. I do have a, but, that um, a pretty. Another thing woman. that I think uh, I feel like if men weren't financially bonded in a way that we are like and you know that the divorce will screw your whole life up i think the divorce rate probably would be a lot higher in men's i think it would actually rival the woman's because a lot of men do get fed up but we know how to deal with it um men endure and we just we just stay with it because we understand that the um the contrast is a lot more unfortunate for us financially um, and the way the court system is, you're not going to get custody. So, you know, the it's favored so much for women that it's usually never worth it to divorce. But a lot of men are miserable in marriages and would love to leave. And that's you the reason why the slogan. I always it. say it's a lot. Hold it's on, cheaper to keep it. That's the reason why that's it. That slogan so popular. You know, it's cheaper to keep it. So, where yeah. is this information? Yeah. I don't know because the average. I mean, when you, when you look at the numbers, you can't report. When you, when you, you look can't at the report, who wanted it? Who wanted to get a divorce? So it's it's got to be anecdotal. It's just from you know talking to people, consulting with people. And yeah, you can. That's, the, that's there's a petitioner really and a defendant. There's a petitioner. There's, no, I'm saying like for people who want to get a divorce but don't. There's not this. It's, it's, oh, it's kind of yeah, difficult yeah. to get those type of numbers. The, the thing that's is with me, saying, and this is just what I think. The guy is just unhappy. What I think, I, I think um, let's let's remove the money part. And I, it's tough to do that, really. But, you know, the, the reality is most people only make 40 grand. A lot of people haven't got no money to lose any goddamn way. So it's just like you go your way. I go my way. Um, and we, we hear the argument of, oh, I'm going to lose this. I'm going to lose that. A lot of, 
with with a with a forty thousand dollar average, it ain't much to lose. You know what I think, and this is just me. What I think, I think the divorce rate would equal out. It would be fifty fifty, or men would even do it more, if ego wasn't involved. Because mm -hmm. when you, for a man, to divorce his wife or to divorce or to you know separate from the family or go their own way is essentially saying, I fucked up, I failed. I, I failed, even if he's not wrong. Even if she's a bad wife, she's, she ain't shit and all of that kind of stuff, there's a component in, in us that's just kind of built in us that I'm in charge. We all know that we're the head of the household. This is my, this is my castle and I'm the king and all of this kind of stuff. And to say that I'm a bad king, to say that I'm a, I'm a leader who wasn't able to have my followers get in line it's tough for men. And if it was and since women are the ones that's being selected, men are the what we're the we're the we we are the uh we hold the key to relationships. Women hold sex, but when it comes to relationships, we choose. We go out and find her, and she's waiting to be selected. And then once we find her, we we ask her for marriage, and that's who I picked. And to say, man, I picked wrong, it's very hard for a lot of guys, and so he'd rather try to fix this shit. It's like, what's going on? Well, let me figure Do I need to work extra hours? Okay, so I don't make enough money. Let me let me see if I can get a, a, a second job on the side or ask my boss for some overtime or let me try to do these things that's necessary to make this marriage work while she could just be like, oh, I'm done with this. I just want to go. I just want to go my own separate way. And he's like, no, 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 no. And his mind is like, damn, am I a bad coach? My team ain't winning. I think if we were to, I, and it's just me, I think if we were to, somehow make it equal in terms of who's who creates marriage or who selects and creates relationships i think men if they didn't have any ego component uh, added to it <coughs> excuse me um a lot more men would get a divorce and i don't think it's necessarily about the money that's messed up shannon you spent the whole soliloquy saying what i already said well well shannon, did you say I, that? Was, I did i said that early in this thing well, Shan, I would say this, uh, the, the pandemic kind of really exposed or rather opened up the veil on a lot of relationships that were uh, already set to fail or better yet, it exposed that a lot of people picked wrong because there were a lot of divorces and a lot of relationships and, you know, uh, engagements that failed during the pandemic because you know, once you get locked down with somebody that you thought that you picked right, when you have to lock down with somebody that you thought was going to be your forever person and have to actually spend more hours in the same space and talk about certain things on a deeper level and get to really understand their mindset and their mind frame and the way they think, and the way they operate for longer periods of time outside of your work schedule, people started to figure out and notice that, damn. I, I don't I, like I, that motherfucker. I, I actually I, hate my wife and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you know, people were starting to kind of like, you know, because you removed all the distraction, everything, every, everything around you stopped and came to the halt. No dogs, no kids. You know what I'm saying? No neighbors. It was just you and your person sitting down having conversations about finances, about cutting back, about probably relocating, your job probably cut hours during the pandemic, all this and that, how to allocate. And once you have conversations on a deeper level about the things that you really value, you really care about, because most people up front, they're going to try to mirror you. They're going to try to mirror, oh, I like that too. Oh, I, I thought the same thing too, right? Because they're trying to garner favor. But once people really sat down in long periods of time during the pandemic, people start to realize, yeah, I married the wrong woman. I should have probably married the other one. Or I got into the wrong relationship. Or I picked one. You know what I'm saying? And the, the aftermath showed it. 